Isn't of Professor Nisan Choksi. Uh, yes. So, but uh, I'm not going to broadly discuss everything about the paper here, but definitely I'm going to uh, discuss the main idea and the findings. So I'll begin with the picture here, as you all can see in the screen. Uh, this picture here is an example of the multiscriptal situation of Manipur. So you will walk through uh, Manipur, you'll see multiple scripts in every corner of Manipur, such as this picture. Uh, so this picture is a signboard of a rice hotel in Manipur, which uses three different scripts, such as Maitai Mayek, Eastern Brahmi, and Roman script. Um, so uh, before going through the discussion, I'll clarify a few things in order to understand the topic better. Uh, so the first uh, th uh, three terms, Maitei Naga and Kukichin, are three ethnicities found in Manipur. Uh, the, and Manipuri is a term um, used to define the people of Manipur. Uh, the mother tongue of the Maitei, that is the Maitei ethnic uh, group, is the lingua, lingua franca of the state. And thus the language, language is regarded as Manipuri language. So as you can see, uh, the, the Maitei ethnic group language act, uh, as a ling uh, lingua franca. That's why it is regarded as a Manipuri language. And it was recognized by the central government in 1992 and included in the eighth schedule of India's constitution. Maitai Maek is the only recognized script in Manipur. Uh, Bengali script Beng, uh, is the Eastern Brahmi script. So uh, actually um, in Manipur, uh, there is a history associated with the name. So Eastern Brahmi script is known as Bengali script. So I might use both the terms in this discussion. Please don't get confused with that. Lastly, uh, Joe script. It is another script found in Manipur, but unrecognized script. As you all can see in the screen. Um, so. While Maitai Meg is the most prevalent script considered to be indigenous to the region, Jo script is a case where the script is created by non-Maitai communities for their own project of cultural and political assertion. It is used and propagated by a small number of people belonging to the Kukichin ethnicity and affiliated with the Jomi language and literary society, which is also known as Jols. Uh, it's in Churachanpur district of Manipur. So outside of this small community, the script is not known in the rest of the Manipur, uh, though according to the general secretary of Joel's um, uh, Dal Sian Pao, his name is Dal Sian Pao, which I interviewed, said that the script originated and is used across the border in Myanmar by Kukichin community and uh, which speak similar uh, Tibeto-Burman languages known as Chin or Lusai. So please don't get confused with these terms because I'll use these terms. Uh, here briefly about the state. Manipur is a state located in the northeastern part of India. It's a land comprising three ethnic cities, which I already mentioned. That is Maitai Naga and Kukichin. Among the three ethnic cities, the majority group which dominate the economy and politics are Maitais. Um, yeah, so uh, Manipur is a very diverse place uh, and often some also call it a little India. So you all can imagine how diverse it is. Um, and so being a diverse place often lead to conflicts among different ethnicities or between ethnicity and also there's a territorial conflict and so on. So you all can see from the uh, uh, screen, the newspaper headlines here. But here I'm going to discuss the diversity of the graphic situation in Manipur. Uh, by graphic here, I mean uh, the different scripts found in Manipur. In Manipur, as in uh, much of the South and Southeast Asia, scripts have a multiplex relation with linguistic code, as can be seen in this table. The Roman script is associated uh, with the English language, but it is also um, used by, as the primary script for writing different uh, languages such as Naga and Kukichin and Maitai Lon, especially by the uh, uh, younger generation. The Eastern Brahmi script, on the other hand, is associated with the Bengali language, uh, though in Manipur it is used mainly to write Maitai language uh, by older generation. Let me go a little deeper to Maitai Meg and its history and all. 
So my TMX script is a revived script for uh, like recently revived script for my Thai language, which was once used before the 18th century in Manipur. The movement started by uh, the movement was started by a my Thai scholar who lived in Assam. It's very interesting how it started. Uh, outside Assam. So um, his name is Lining Hal Nauria Pulo. Uh, so he founded an organization called Maitai Maruk and started campaigning to replace the Eastern Brahmi script, which was massively carried out by uh, another organization uh, called Milal. Uh, so yeah, uh, the number of the letter of the script was also debated. Like one group will say that the Maitai Meg is of 35 letter and the other will say it as 18 letter. In 1980, the government settled on a 27 letter Maitai Meg. Among the 27 letter, the original 18 letters are named after parts of the human body, as you all can see in the figure four. And the numericals from uh, one to nine are taken from the human fetal development, a uh, period of nine months, as you can see in figure five. Uh, this is an image of a state central library of Manipur being burned down on 3rd April 2005 by a group of organizations called Milal, uh, which stands for Maitai Irol Iyek Loina Silol Apun Baluk. So it's a Manipuri lang uh, language, uh, which can be also translated as United Forum for Safeguarding Manipuri Script and Language. Uh, this act was um, undertook when the government of Manipur failed to fulfill the demands made by the organization. The demand were to fulfill implement uh, the uh, the demands were to implement the Maitai script in educational and administrative domains. The organization also uh, demanded that the script should replace uh, complete the Bengali script should completely replace. But in the hill uh, regions of Manipur, which is dominated by communities of ethnic Naga and Kukichin, um, they resented the government, which was about to uniformly implement the script across Manipur, which resulted in the incidents of Naga youth attacking a state bus where uh, the vehicle number plate was written in Maitai Meg. And in the Kukichin uh, dominated area of Churchanpur, student unions burnt textbook, which was written in uh, uh, May. So even such as this indicated the in introduction of the graphic as a new site of politics in a region known for its ethnic and territorial conflicts. This incident suggests that Maitai May is also has also made division in the multi-ethnic and multilinguistic region. Uh, the movement for the Maitai Mayek has introduced a new ideological alignment between script, ethnicity, and territory. In uh, doing so, Milal tried to project an um, constructed notion of public in which a single script could uh, encompass not only graphically diverse Maitai language community, but also the entire region of Manipur, and thereby construct a notion of Manipuri unity across ethnic and linguistic lines. Uh, what resulted from this drive was a multiscriptal public sphere in which Maitai may exist alongside other scripts in public space. Uh, so, uh, in the streets of cities and towns in Imphal district, it is rare to see like signboards without Maitai Mayek. Uh, and it is uh, frequently accompanied by other scripts as well, such as Roman and um, the uh, Eastern Brahmi. Uh, print media in the region saw a hybrid multiscriptal format in which a combination of three, especially three scripts, Maitai Mayak, Eastern Brahmi, and Roman are used. Example, as you all can see in the ma magazine cover called Ichema, Ichema Magazine, or the famous newspaper, paper called Pognafam, um, which has a mixture of three scripts, Eastern Brahmi for most content because it is a, uh, like the audience are mostly uh, older generations, Roman for uh, signposting and separate smaller Maitai Mayak section. Uh, while print, print media also maintains a three script, one language combination visual media which is consumed by consumed by both younger and older audiences display a two script one language combination using primarily Maitai Mayek and Roman script um, uh, in Maitai Lon as you all can see in this uh, news channel TV. Uh, 
publicly and uh, visual media such as the advertisement for a film poster in figure uh, nine also display the digraphic combination. Uh, such discrepancies uh, between print and visual media illustrate a differentiation of preferences within the Maite reading uh, public. Print media consumed by older generations maintain Eastern Brahmi, while visual media with less emphasis on written consent routinely display a Maite Mayeg uh, and Roman script combination. Sign, public signboards also show uh, the diverse uh, graphic combination depending on the content or target audiences. On the content or uh, target, uh, so like sometimes on the streets, you will see uh, handwritten signs uh, in which unique combinations, which is not found in uh, media, such as the use of Eastern Brahmi uh, uh, in combination with Maitame, as in, you can see in figure 10, uh, such combinations uh, de demonstrate the continued use of Eastern Brahmi, um, even though it was um, like completely uh, banned by some organization. Um, and also, but still it's consumed by older generation. Uh, so that's why uh, by um, considering the audiences, this, uh, signs can be seen in public sphere. People also hand write Maitimeyek on their number plates, like vehicle number plates to accompany uh, the by accompany Roman letter. These combinations mirrors the official signs of government agencies which have adopted the digraphic di combination of Maitimeyek and Roman. Uh, so such signs can be seen in uh, the in, uh, local municipality signboard, uh, as can be seen in Figure Twelve. Uh, and also, uh, it can be seen in non-government institutions such as schools or church churches, which have adopted this combination. Um, so, with this. Uh, a brief account uh, above gives an account uh, of the way the larger public sphere has been saved by ideological forces and the changing dynamics or dynamics regarding script in the Maitai dominated areas of Manipur. The way script use relates to individual identity for formation can be uh, related to can be um, relate, uh, can be seen from the Facebook or social media profiles. So. Uh, yeah, so a survey of Facebook profiles reveals the Maitai Mayek, uh, that Maitai Mayek has still not been adopted as a script of everyday communication, as the majority of Maitai language posts are in Roman script. However, Maitai Mayek appears in many username profiles of some Maitai uh, ethnic people, uh, particularly uh, their username indicating uh, a perception that the script while uh, the script will the Maitai script is mostly not used uh, for messaging or other um, uh, other activity but uh, to signify their personal and also ethnic identity on the platform they used in um, this uh, username username so uh, when i interview about the so their social media profiles respondents link the script to an idea of indigenous territory calling it as their mother motherland script or to ethnicity uh, terming the script as our script uh, my two users um, mostly uh, align both their ethnic identity and territory, territorial imagining with Maitai Maya. Whereas non-Maitai social media users distance themselves from this particular ideological alignment. Instead, they refer to the script as it appear uh, like a script as a Manipur script or a script which has originated from Manipur, connecting the script with territory, but not with personal identity or ethnicity. So uh, in a uh, geographically diverse and dynamic landscape, such as Manipur, alignments between the script, ethnic uh, identity, language, and territory are not stable, but are constantly changing depending on individuals or organizations on positionality in relation to broader, uh, broader social and political ideologies. Uh, 
and also the advent of uh, Maite Mayek and how it introduced a cultural politics in the region that aligns script, language, and territory, which was then violently carried forth by the organization such as Milal. The imposition of the script throughout the state that, uh, had led to a uh, different understanding of the graphic as a marker of uh, indigeneity and uh, territory. For, order, for older generations, even among Maite, there's a little acceptance of Maite Mayek and most uh, major print uh, media uses Eastern Brahmi because it has more audience uh, till now. However, uh, for younger generations of Maite, there is a clear preference for Maite Mayek in terms of representing their ident uh, ethnicity and Roman for everyday practice of writing. For a person identifying as Naga or Kukichin, uh, uh, like, uh, there's a general acceptance of Maite Mayek as an appropriate script for Manipuri, though it does not uh, extend to ethnic identity, nor, it, uh, nor uh, there is any aspiration. Uh, aspiration, uh, yeah. So, uh, a Roman, on the other hand, has a closer ethnic and cultural intimacy due to its close relation to Christ Christianity, mostly, yeah, uh, by the non maite groups. Discussions about script also uh, reframe larger discourse about insider and outsider that are prevalent both in the valley and the hill areas. For instance, uh, across ethnic groups, there was an understanding that Bengalis were non-indigenous to the region, whereas Maite, Naga, and Kukichin were. Sometimes uh, this extended to script where some non maite believed maite Mayek to be better than Eastern Brahmi because it was indigenous. Other times there was um, acceptance of Eastern Brahmi as an indigenous script of Manipur as uh, the, the Eastern Brahmi started to, um, uh, after Eastern Brahmi, people of Manipur started uh, to literate. So uh, when discussing a, a marginal script like Joe, for instance, the idea of insider outsider was more layered, bringing in a hill perspective that is um, different from the views prevalent to the valley reasons. Due to the transnational nature of the script, insider status was based more on ethnicity rather than on any particular administrative territory and even included groups with different languages and ethnic names across the border in Myanmar. So the study suggests that the presence of graphic diversity in Manipur presents a dynamic picture of the construction of ethnic identity beyond the binaries of hills versus plains or ethnic conflict. It shows how uh, people may use linguistic and graphic resources to assemble a complex identity that incorporates several different forms of belonging and cultural and political uh, allegiances together within a highly diverse region. As graphic diversity is an important feature of many areas of Northeast India, India and North Southeast Asia, future studies in this important field will set even further light on ethnic transformation in um, Asia. And with that, uh, this is the references that I used. Uh, with it. Thank you.